Right. Can you hear me at the back? Can you hear me at the back? No. One, two, three, four, five, seventeen. I love rain in India. Does that work? Right, thank you. All right, um, so we've been having a bug bash for the last two days. Um, Jyoti, just at least stand up and smile at people. For those people who haven't met Jyoti in the bug uh, bash, you've been missing working with a great person. So she's been diligently helping people, dealing with a bunch of the problems, and uh, tracking the bugs. So thank you very much. Uh, we have these two beautiful specimens. I think to be a committer on selenium, you have to have a beard. Or at least to keep committing on selenium, you need a beard. So Simon and Luke, again, have been in, in the, uh, the room for most of the two days, um, in between photo calls and uh, working on the code base and cursing, mainly about some of the bugs that have been found, and I'll get into that later on. So we had 21 people registered yesterday. 62 registered by today, so today was definitely the livelier of the two days. Um, we had 29 bugs logged and already 15 bugs closed, so pretty fast turnaround from the team, uh, which is great. This is documentation, agile style, I think it's called. Um, so essentially explaining some of the details that we discovered as part of the onboarding of getting people to start working with Selenium 3. So this is actually really important because there are going to be thousands and thousands of people struggling with these sort of challenges um, as they're trying to get their test to work with Selenium 3. So here it is as a start, and um, all the details for how we filed the bugs. Uh, we did have a virtual team as well working on this, um, which is also a good encouragement. A um, bunch of handsome people sitting with the computers, occasionally doing work together. So I'm going to hand over to Luke in a second to explain why we picked these three bugs. Uh, there's a, a mic somewhere, a talky-talky mic. Thank you. Uh, thanks, actually, to everyone who came out to the Bug Bash. Uh, it was interesting at times. <laughs> uh, but it, I, we certainly did appreciate people trying out uh, the Selenium 3 Alpha it was very much an alpha. We have, we're trying to get to a beta release. Uh, these three issues are things that were identified by some of the members there that I was not aware of beforehand, and they are barriers to our beta release, and that's why they're pretty important, and I'm glad that, that uh, these, these got identified. Um, the second one on the list is what caused Simon to spew profanities all day. Um, is and, and and it's fixed now. <laughs> Simon Simon uh, develops by breaking, um, and then fixing, and then breaking, and then fixing, and then it's defect driven. Yeah, defect driven development. Um, so it, these uh, the top one. Um, I don't believe that's the right one, but that's okay. Uh, okay, um, th so there was an issue with the the version in the jar that that that's the main one that Simon's been working on. Uh, there was an issue with uh, transitive dependencies not getting included appropriately. Uh, so we are missing some classes in the the main um, jar that gets distributed, and there was another issue related. Um, Jar. Uh, trying to remember. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other things that we've been working on, uh, that Simon and I have been working on, is um, we've been changing to a buck, uh, our build system to use buck. Uh, there's been some minor details in that, uh, especially with publishing to Maven, uh, and I've been working on that all day. Um, one of the main things that we were encountering a lot was uh, the difference in how Firefox driver is in Selenium 3. 
uh, one of the key things that we're doing is we're enabling by default the Gecko driver. Uh, not everybody understands the implications of that. Um, so Gecko driver is Mozilla's implementation of the Firefox driver to you know run the automation against that browser. What we have in the open source project, what you have been using, uh, is a extension based implementation that we have hosted in the Selenium HQ uh, source repo. That what what is currently in the Selenium HQ repo uh, is only working up to Firefox 46 right now. And many of you have encountered that 47 does not work with it. Uh, it's going to continue likely to not work with um, 47, but it's also not going to work with Firefox 48. So we know that the future of Firefox versions are not going to work with what's currently in the Selenium HQ repo for the driver implementation. That's why we need to move to Gecko. Uh, but we've also been encountering many issues with Gecko driver. Uh, not everything, not all the APIs are implemented or behavior isn't quite as expected. So everyone be aware. Uh, we did find lots of Gecko driver bugs, which are great, but they're also logged against Mozilla itself. So in, if you are running with Firefox Gecko driver, know that you, if you log an issue against the Selenium repo, it's going to get closed and you're going to be redirected to log it against Mozilla. So you could save yourself and myself a little bit of time by just, if you're using Gecko driver, log straight with Mozilla. Um, that's, that's, that's about it. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Luke. So for the people who filed these bugs, I just double checked. This was your very official numbering system. Five, seven. Two, three, five, seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Dyslexia rules KO. It's been a long time. <laughs> right. Anyway, for the th the three people who file these bugs, um, if you're in the room, can you put your hand up? <coughs> we have one, two, two of them. So come forward. We've got a little something to say thank you. And which is your bug, sir? Yes. Um, yeah, by all means. Uh, just which is your bug? Uh, actually, uh, I'm from Nokri. Uh, when I know there is bug bash is going on, I contacted you. She told she told, she told that okay, uh, we can log bug virtually. Then I asked my team, okay, uh, they are remotely working on it, and they report just some eight or nine bugs, and they got elected one of. Yes. Actually, I didn't know about the bug, actually. I just want to thank my team. Good. Okay. Thank you. So on behalf of your team, then, <laughs> can I? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. No one goes away empty-handed, <laughs> whether you like it or not. So here are a couple of books. Uh, I've been involved in writing both of them. Uh, so you're very welcome to these. Take them back to your team. The electronic copies are available for free online as well. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, team, who are working on uh, these Thank you. So, do you want to introduce yourself and which is your bug? Yeah, Abhinav from Mozilla. Mine is 2357. Oh. Yeah. Hi, I am Abhinav from Gimalto, Noida. And mine was 2357. Good. Well, thank you. That was the one we were arguing about numbers. <laughs> so, thank you very much then. And we're missing the, the third person, so we'll sort that out later. Thank you very much, everyone. All right, big round of uh, applause for Julian, Jyoti, and the uh, whole Selenium team. I think these are great opportunities for everyone to kind of participate and start contributing. Uh, we were hoping as part of the bug bash, maybe we'll end up with few contributors or committers from India. That's something we're still lacking. So maybe we'll try again next year to see if we can make it through uh, to become, to get the commit bit on the project.
they exist, okay? It's, there are a handful of committers who have uh, done, had successfully merged pull requests, and there are, uh, I believe, two individuals that have the commit bit that are in or from India. Okay, I was not aware, so that's good to know. 